What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Uh, we about to get into Quavo's um, diss track to Chris Brown. I did react to the full audio over on Patreon. Y'all make sure y'all tap in. The audio is not on this video because obvious reasons. You I will get copyrighted, okay? So we about to get into it. Now, I want y'all to know something before we get into this. For one, Quavo's original diss track, Tender Meat, I don't want to react to it. I did react to it. It's on Patreon, but I'm not about to make that type of video. Um, I might. You know why? <laughs> I, might, I might be lying. That was probably one of the worst songs I ever heard in 2024. I didn't understand what he said in the hook uh, with a couple words. Why are you singing in a diss track? And what is this about? Like, I hated that diss track. I wish he would have kept that, okay? Made him sound real tender. You, he sounded tender over Chris, okay? But anyway, I know that Chris Brown originally was the one who came with the disrespect child, but we're going to start here, okay? So I'm going to react to it the same way I reacted to uh, Chris Brown's diss track. If you missed that, um... I'm going to put the link in the pinned comment along with the Patreon and the full reactions to the audio is on the Patreon. So, yeah, as y'all can see, <laughs> this is the art to it, okay? Now, Chris Brown was allegedly, he had his, not alleged, because he had his his hands around Shorty Thoko area, but I don't think that he was initially trying to choke her out, though, for real. Uh, apparently, it was like a joke type thing, but, yeah, here we are with that. But... Let's get into this uh, reaction. I want to say that in the beginning of this diss track, I thought it was fine. <laughs> like, the way he started it off, um, he messed his bag up when uh, he punched Rhea in the face. Um, Chris Brown is basically crying about a woman, which is true. Him and Quavo is definitely beefing over the fact that he's smashing Karuchi. I don't care what nobody say. Normally, I feel like Chris Brown... He's very much so territorial over his women. Like I told y'all in the last video, if I can't have her, you ain't going to have her neither, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So I think he took that as disrespect because the fact that Quavo is smashing on Karuchi, and that's kind of that on that. Let's continue. <laughs> and he said he lost a fight to Frank Ocean, which is crazy. When did y'all fight? And then he said that they went and tied his auntie up and somebody in her house or his house or they ran up in her house, whatever. Why is his auntie getting tied up? And Chris, why are you fighting Frank Ocean? What, 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 what did Frank Ocean do to anybody? Okay. Um, I'm trying to figure that, that one out right now. Told him do not bring up take, okay, um, which he's correct to. Like, I ain't going to lie. I know in arguing it's, it's no fair game, okay. Throw a rock, I'm going to throw one back, no matter how big the rock is. However, comma, I just think he could have left take up out of this. Think he could have left Take Up out of this. But here we are. Okay. I don't think he cared the fact that he brought Take Up. I don't think he take it back that he brought Take Up. I don't think he regrets that he brought him up. I think uh he said what he had to say. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, take verse go uh verse. Take hook go crazy. I wish that they would have put this out, you know, while he was alive. Cause it would have went hard. I hate that they used it for this they. Lord have mercy. God forgive me. I hate that they, uh, Quavo, used this for this. But, I mean, it is what it is. Like I said, in a fight, a fight is a fight. Okay? And everybody is not here to fight fair. So, um, girl, I, I hate that we got to talk about take. He shouldn't have been brought up at all. But, anyway, um, rest in peace to him. Uh, the hook was dope. That boy said, you want to die about Karuchi. He said, you want to die about some... You still tripping about Karuchi, okay? Now, I don't know how long Quavo been messing with Karuchi, but I don't think Quavo understand that Karuchi belonged to Chris Brown. <laughs> Karuchi and her coochie, okay? Um, Karuchi and her coochie belong to Chris Brown, baby. Uh, unfortunately, girl, I know she tired of it. If I was Karuchi, I would be sick of dealing with anything that had to do with Chris Brown. Like, I can't move on. I can't go to somebody new. And I don't know if y'all know, but a video resurfaced of Chris Brown saying, um, he's basically the crazy ex. If I mess with you 
at one point, if I can't have you, nobody can have you. Chris Brown has that type of energy when it comes to women, unfortunately, because it's not nothing cute. I don't know why he's doing this, but girl, y'all heard what he said? The cocaine got him your honor, bipolar disorder, no wonder. First of all, it has been rumored that Chris Brown do a lot of that booger sugar, that cocaine a shouty, that white girl. Um, I don't necessarily know if that's true. I'm going to say alleged because I don't know. But, you know, as far as I'm concerned, do what it, what it, what it is that you do. If he want to step a little whatever, he can step a little. ain't nobody business. You get what I'm saying? But um, Quavo is blaming this on the white girl. Okay. Why they got Quavo going back and forth about a singer that turned into a junkie? He said Chris Brown used to be the greatest as far as I'm concerned, I think Chris Brown is still the greatest. Like, y'all, Chris Brown has hell of a music. Like, I think the cocaine helps. Just like Lil Wayne said, don't worry about what's in his cup. Worry about what's in your cup. Drink it. You remember? So, I think that um, we shouldn't be concerned about what Chris Brown has on his dollar bill, okay, or what he got on his counter. All right, well, he makes a line. That ain't none of my business, okay? I want him to continue to put out that fire. And if we need a little bit of coca to put up in there for that, that's that what we're going to get. That's what we're going to get, okay? <laughs> Light skin versus, versus brown skin, we finna divide the country is stupid. Stop. God, it don't matter if you light, bright, white, Skype, okay? I... I <sighs> Light skin versus brown skin. We finna divide the country. Why? We stepped in the yard. You know how that ending. Is he alluding to the fact that he beat up Chris Brown at one point? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Don't get me wrong. Quavo is very much so athletic. Um, He played basketball really good. I just think Chris Brown got them hands. And I think he's very much so strong. But Quavo might be too. I don't know. I ain't with him. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Who y'all think will win between Chris Brown and Quavo? I want to know. He said, who gassed you up to put that out? That was shitty. No, what was shitty was, uh, what's that song called? Uh, Tender Dick. He should have kept that in the trash where it originally was. Okay? That was How you come back with a diss track singing? You used to call me on my cell. Hell, ass. That's what that sound like. I hated that song. Take a model bitch. That nigga said he'll take a model bitch and make her sweetie, nigga. He's saying sweetie ain't nothing but a model bitch. Oh! Listen, I don't think that was, um... That was way better than Tender Meat. I'll tell you that. Um, but I think Chris Brown's was harder. Period. Uh, Chris Brown already responded and said he ain't giving a diss track back. He said take off rap better, basically. So there's that. Um, I don't know where this going to go when they see each other and all that. No idea. But we going to see. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Remember that the audio uh, reaction is on Patreon. Make sure y'all tap in. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.